20 years, that is how long the European Union and the South American trading bloc Mercosur have been negotiating a trade deal. And there is finally some good news. Mercosur is a trading bloc of four South American countries, namely Argentina, Uruguay, Brazil and Paraguay. The trade deal, which aims to cut down tariffs on goods coming from either side, was stalled mainly due to European farmer sensitivities over the beef market. But now, these issues have been addressed and all that is left is for the EU member nations to approve the deal. So what does the new trade deal mean for both blocs? According to European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker, this is the largest trade deal that the EU has ever signed and will save an estimated $4.5 billion for the European companies. Once the deal comes into effect, almost 99% of agricultural and industrial tariffs between the two blocs are expected to be eliminated. It will also facilitate easy exchange of intellectual property and reduce technical barriers in trade. Both sides stand to benefit from the steel. Europe will gain access to the South American automobile market, which is largely unexploited, and also their financial and telecommunications market. Now, South America can also expand on their famous beef trade. Reports suggest that they may be able to export 99,000 tons of beef to Europe before they are asked to pay tariffs. There are, however, certain contentions in the deal. Trade deals are always a sensitive issue for farmers, and there are certain genuine fears here too. Ireland, for example, have a strong beef farming industry, which will be adversely affected by the newly in the new struck deal. French President Emmanuel Macron has also threatened to scrap the new deal if Brazil decides to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement. And staying with news from Europe, which is experiencing a severe heat wave this week, France may have hit its highest ever recorded temperature today, 45.1 degrees Celsius. Not just France, parts of Germany, the Czech Republic and Spain have also seen record-breaking temperatures in the last few days. So why is Europe facing such unusually high temperatures? Our next report gets you all the details. Temperature records for this time of the year in Europe have already been broken or are all set to be broken in the next few days. Almost everywhere in France, temperatures are soaring. On Friday, France hit the highest ever recorded temperature of 44.3 degrees Celsius. This breaks the country's 2003 record of 44.1 degrees Celsius. The 2003 heat wave had claimed 15,000 lives, mostly of the elderly. French Prime Minister Edouard Philippe issued an advisory warning to all citizens. Nous voulons, avec Madame la Ministre des Solidarités et de la Santé, appeler chacun euh, à la plus grande vigilance, car, euh, bien sûr, euh, des mesures ont été prises à destination des publics les plus fragiles, les établissements médico-sociaux, les établissements publics se sont organisés, mais compte tenu de l'intensité de l'épisode caniculaire, c'est aujourd'hui la totalité de la population qui doit faire attention, euh, respecter des consignes de bon sens et de prudence, être vigilant à la fois pour soi, mais aussi pour ses proches, Pour ses voisins. The country's weather service says the intensity of the heat is unprecedented. French towns have shut schools and parents have been instructed to keep children indoors. Several towns have also issued red alerts in anticipation of temperatures touching 45 degrees Celsius. But it's not just France that is facing scorching temperatures. Germany, Poland and the Czech Republic have all recorded their highest ever June temperatures. Germany recorded its highest ever June temperature on Wednesday when the mercury hit 38.6 degrees Celsius. The previous record stood at 38.5 degrees Celsius which was measured in 1947. While in Spain, Firefighters are battling Catalonia's worst wildfires in 20 years. Several people are believed to have lost their lives as a result of the extreme temperatures, including two who died from a suspected heat stroke. The heat wave is not over yet. The Spanish weather agency has predicted that the heat, unusual for June, will remain unabated through the weekend. The weather agency says that parts of Spain, including Madrid, can experience heat above 40 degrees Celsius 
by the end of the week. So what is causing the unusual heat wave across Europe? The unusually hot weather in June is caused by a swath of warm air from Africa. The unusually hot weather in June is caused by a swath of warm air from Africa, bringing high temperatures right across the continent. Weather experts seem to think that climate change could also be a culprit. This year's weather across the globe has certainly been in line with the predictions of the scientists. Rising temperatures, more heat waves, prolonged droughts interspersed with spells of heavy flooding in some regions. The United Nations Meteorological Organization has come out with a report saying that the last five years appear to be the five warmest years on record. And the worst is not over yet. Bureau Report, Weon World.